There is a video going around showing a frozen fish in which I'm actually going to show that video um, basically reanimating itself back to life. And it got me to thinking, is dead really dead? I said in a previous uh, video, and there was a, um, uh, a comment or email sent to me and said, well, how could death have a vibration? And actually it does. And when you begin to think about if even the possibility of reanimation is possible, resurrecting the dead, um, wow. So, you know, when we think about this, we get the perception many times that, you know, it's the night of the living dead. And this is what, you know, uh, great movies and video games have been made on. But get this, folks. The U.S. government has been deeply involved in experiments of doing just that, folks. Reanimating. Yes. Now, here's the crazy thing about this. They have, and here it is, you can see exactly how they've mapped this out. Uh, quite interesting. And since this occurs naturally in nature, then why cannot it be done artificially? We all hope that Dr. Elizabeth Shaw indeed can, in fact, will be reanimated. This is what science fiction has been about. But as we have seen so often, that those pioneers in science fiction, such as Gene Roddenberry, um, Jules Verne, what we found was that they knew something that maybe we didn't. So when it comes to the resuscitation of life itself, that happens all the time. Uh, if there is a cardiac arrest situation where the patient has gone into uh, cardiac arrest, we can resuscitate that person. If a person has drowned, and this is the remarkable thing, I believe the longest record for resuscitating a person back from the dead, I believe is almost 30 minutes. And that was with a child who uh, was in a lake um, and technically drowned, but because of the water temperature and the ability of the body uh, to still maintain. And, and the problem has always been is two things, is the brain and the individual cell. Uh, the problem is, is that if you go through the normal cryogenic process, uh, the real problem is, is that when the cells begin to thaw, they always burst. Uh, and break the membrane. And of course, when that happens, it's irreparable cell damage. Um, but the brain, now the brain is another interesting thing. It's, it's, it's an organ, yes. Um, but as an organ, it's unique in its function. Um, a liver can't act as a brain, but the brain can command the liver to cleanse the body so that the brain lives. Yeah, think about that one for a little bit. But here's the problem. Again, it's the cells. But, and scientists have been looking at this for decades. In fact, it goes back hundreds of years when they first found out that amphibians, particularly, could be frozen. Um, flies are another good example. Uh, we can have the most brutal winters, uh, but... It's amazing how quickly flies will actually emerge from a frozen state back out. So, you know, it's just fascinating, and I do believe that they're going to get a way through it. So when we think about this, here you go. They've got icons <laughs> and how to reanimate. So it's kind of bizarre, is it not? And, and you know... My wife works in the medical industry, and um, when you think about what is actually done and how doctors and nurses 
do their best to save patients, bringing them back from death. Uh, it's been something that has been around for a very long time. Um, listen, today's normalcy in medicine, <laughs> the result of the fringe doctors that went way out on the limb, uh, but their knowledge of the anatomy um, was would not have been possible for us today if this hadn't been done. So frozen fish come back to life. Yeah, all right. So, you know, let's take a uh, look at this. But by the way, again, I want to bring this out. This has been known to happen in mammals as well. This is a um, story that came, I believe this is out of, uh, I think, Upper Wisconsin, that area. Anyway, uh, this kitten was found frozen, dead, but it was brought back. So, yeah, it's pretty fascinating. So go, let's go ahead, take a look at this video, and then we'll get back to this. So here it is. Guy takes it out, right? Solidly frozen. Warm water. There's another fish in here as well. You can begin to actually see it change colors. Look at the uh, bubble, the air bubble that actually went out. And there we go. So maybe death, or maybe dead, is not always dead. You think about it. If we're beginning to understand these new principles, boundaries. You know, I remember the movie that came out in the 50s, The Day the Earth Stood Still, the original. And Katu um, said that, you know, where death was concerned, there was only so far that their technology could go in reanimating life. It appears that as we continue to awaken and look around, we begin to find that this may be more common than what we actually think. I don't know. What do you think? Is dead really dead? Let me know. All right. Be kind to one another.